Yes, yeah, so uh, let's welcome Vinicius Pacheco, and he'll talk to us about API and APIs on microservices with Go. It's my golfer. Like, because, this, because of him, I'm started to call the goal lang. Um, what I will talk, this talk's about APIs and microservices. It's not a talk only about uh, uh, Golang. It's about engineer. So, I am Vinicius Pacheco. If you want to talk with me by Twitter, it's the best option. And I'm software engineer at globe.com. I'm teacher at KL, it's a good school in Brazil. I'm a Brazilian guy. And uh, I'm Jungle Girls organizer and theologist, because uh, we need faith to compile code. <laughs> and uh, uh, someone know what is globe.com? Yeah, it's great. So globe.com is a great group Global, it's a great group in Brazil. Uh, in Brazil, we have television, uh, cable television, newspaper, uh, uh, I think uh, 50, uh, 50 channels, cable channels from globe.com, and we have a portal, globe.com. Globe.com is the arm of full group global and uh, internet. And what is our agenda? It's a real case. It's not a, a, a fake app. It's a real case what happened with me at globe.com. So uh, where I can use, where uh, uh, can I use uh, Golang? It's a real case, you will see. And uh, an advice, my English is really, really, really bad. If you don't understand, you up your hand and uh, I don't understand, can you repeat, please? I will repeat. And you don't understand again, I don't understand again, can you repeat, please? I will repeat in Spanish, because <laughs> it's great for me. And, oh, I can't understand, please. Oh, uh, I will repeat in Portuguese. And if not so good, I will, uh, Take uh, 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 help for my Brazilian friends. They talk, they speak English very well. Uh, so, our agenda. At first, the metrics. After that, the problems. The road and the solution. The metrics from globe.com. We have more than 50 million access per day. Unique access. It's not a repeat access. It's not a, oh, uh, two people access globe.com twice. No. Unique access, 50 million. And uh, a quiz, a simple quiz, like uh, what's the best player in the world? Play soccer in the world. And one quiz like this, uh, 4,000 4, requests uh, per second. And uh, uh, we have APIs like Gamify Soccer, Gamify Soccer Plays, and uh, other APIs. We generate uh, 300,000 requests per second. With, in the top moment, uh, 900 requests, 900,000 requests per second. And now we're VIP. Uh, all uh, uh, all globe.com is by... Uh, is, is from world to big data and the recommendation. Recommendation news and uh, shows, TV shows and soap opera by the, for the internet, by the internet. And uh, get user from uh, user logit is easier. Okay. And where am I in these numbers? My team at globe.com is globeyg. Globe ID uh, is the API to register the new users at globe.com and serve all other 72 teams at globe.com and the other five companies from Grupo Global. So if you do a new register, a new, a new registration at globe.com, uh, you use my API. And it's 
the, 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 the topics of this. And our X system is it, is a tower. Uh, we have, at first, a front end it, uh, is written with a scalar and uh, play framework. And uh, they send the request for two monoliths APIs, big monoliths APIs, with uh, 14 years old monoliths APIs written in Java. Uh, the monolith API on your right side, my left side, is written with a spring tree because uh, he was refactoring year by year, but not so good. And the other is pure Java with server, servlets and uh, uh, EJ, EJB in the version 2.2, I think. And our database is Oracle. Yes, he's carried. I know. It's terrible. He's a freak. <laughs> uh, what, what are a monolithic? You think it's this. With a, like a big, as a big block of code with all things and uh, organized by the OOP and uh, it's a lie. The truth is it. It's the truth. When you look a monolithic, a monolithic is terrible luck. And, and uh, think with me, 14 years of this, the same monolith. Look, good developers post, uh, push code for this. Uh, bad developers commit code. And uh, stagiaries commit code. Trainees commit code. It's terrible. It's difficult. And uh, this, two, this, this stack, this big stack, two monsters, mon two monolithic monsters, do only 200 registrations per second. And uh, uh, our two big monolithics that we need to maintain. And uh, it's all difficult to change a, a little library. And the risk of deploy is huge. And merge are numerous and dangerous. It's not a good place to work. Let's move to new architecture. And I, I like a lot the sentence of Mario Fusco. When you think a microservice, you think, oh, it's a little application. No, it's wrong. Microservice is not a little application. It's a big ap application, a big stack. It's not a, a, a you, you, you can't think this, this, this thing. No, terrible. And microservices is not because the size of the application. The important is what he do. What the microservice do is important because this is micro. micro. It's micro not because the size of the application. It's micro because you need to think, oh, run responsibility on this. And my team starts to do a uh, 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 a job to create a new stack. And the main developers there are Java developers. And the other developers are Python developers. And other developers are, I don't know, metaphorical developers, maybe. And uh, we create the first, child, the first stack to test. It was called Kratos, because the game because uh, Kratos killed the gods, and the two big monolithics are gods. So we need to this, do this, this thing. So we started to write the code with Undertow. You know what is Undertow? Anyone know? OK. Uh, JBoss has a, a server, a uh, server container, is Whitefly. The engine of the Whitefly is Undertow. Is the thing more, is the more fast handler uh, for Java, and uh, faster than Undertow is Netty. But Net, you need to know the size of the request. All requests, you need to know the size, 
And under tow, you don't need to know the size of the request. So uh, under tow is friendly for developers. Friendly for develops. Look at code, friendly for develops. We started to write uh, with under tow. And it was a Sunday. I don't have beta. And uh, my wife slapped with jeans, had slapped with jeans. And I start to write the same application in Go. Because I like Go. Why not other language? Because I like Go. I have a Go for man. So I start to write. And uh, at Globe.com, we have a, a team. The name of the team is KEA2. The KEA2 is a team for tests of the uh, stressed tests. And uh, uh, Undertow pass for this test, and they put the other application. And I call it by Golem. And why Golem? Because data is precious. Data is my precious. So I start to write the code with, uh, to Golem and the put in secret to the key A2 team. Key A2 team made the tests and was more performantly than uh, the Java application. So my team looked the numbers and, uh, oh, Kratos is so fast. Oh, what will you do? And uh, I speak, it's not Kratos. It's Gollum. And uh, Gollum, there are other mod other moderation for his name. Because uh, uh, our, uh, our golfer, when made a, a library, uh, put the go like a prefix of the name. Like Batman, you know Batman? The bat model, the bat phone, the bat, you know, okay. and, 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 and the golfers put go. Go, okay, Golan. It's good. And uh, what go gives for us? Uh, simplicity is simply, uh, it's more sim simple, simple than, than Java. And uh, the standard library is really complete. I, I don't need a server. Uh, it's not necessary a uh, JSON translator. It's not necessary uh, uh, RPC to communication. It's not necessary nothing. The all is inside the standard library of Go. Uh, it's compiled, so it's near of the machine. As my language to high performance. Uh, the concurrence of, with Go is for babies. It's really easy to write a concurrence code with Golang. And uh, we have a lot of tools, many tools, fantastic tools. And there are native, native API uh, for HTTP2. It's great for us. And a great documentation. So, the simplicity. Look at this. Undertow, hello world. Great, no? Look, a class and a method main to run because it's an engine, engine of the, the, the server, so you don't need to put inside the container. It's provided. And you start at the builder of the Undertow. After that, put the listener. 8080 port, localhost, and after that, you set your new handler and write your handler with a lot of boilerplate and put what type you will return in your handler, set that explain, and after that, you write your hello world, build and start, easy. So cute. Look, I'm ironic, okay? The same with Go. I imported, I put the package, the principal package, all Go code started from the main package. The main package is the first, it's the principal, uh, the, the main of the application. All code of Go start from the main package. And the main function, it's a reserved function of the Golang. And we start the handler and put the response in the request. And I will print hello world. 
put the handler, registration my halt, and after that, listen and serve an 88 port. It's easy. Look, it's easy. It's not so difficult. So is the, the content type header added automatically for you? What? The content type header, is that added automatically for you? Okay. Uh, this case will return a text plane because he is identify the text. Really, hello world. But not a good practice. The good practice to do this faster is just set on the header the return. But I will I use I've been used the fprintln. So the fprintln return a text plane. Okay. If I I want to write a low level. I don't use the FMT package, okay? It's a, it's, a, it's a friendly interface for developers. If you want write Go, Go code, you don't use, you can't use FMT and the other package uh, as roast for performance. So, tests with Go. Oh, I need to import a package for tests uh, to do to unitary tests. No, it's not necessary. Go give this for us. And uh, I put the log to know what happened. I import the NetHP. And look at this. Fantastic. HTTP test. Look, to mock your request. That's great. And the test package. I create uh, a func to test the handler. Oh, test handler. And import the test restriction. Stretch. After that, I create my new request. Real request. Okay. My real request. If an error happens, I will lock the error. And after that, I create my fake response. Create my fake response and the set for my handler. Take the code, the stats different of OK, return the error. If it's OK, look, hello world. It's easy to test a handler. Nice. And uh, how can I do to give a JSON for my user? Is it? I have a, a function in Portuguese, sorry, and via JSON is send a JSON in English, and uh, I will return two things: an array of a slice of bytes and an error, because Go in Go don't don't have exceptions. Is this elegant? Yeah, Bob Pike said this, and. Uh, the, 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 this guy is terrible. Look, oh no, <laughs> oh no, exceptions good. So <laughs> we don't have exceptions, uh, and why? Because you it's easier to to create your errors. An error is an error that doesn't it doesn't import what type of error it is. And uh, <coughs> sorry, we put I get, I have my package user my entity. I create my entity, it doesn't matter, it's my user. And uh, I create a new payload. And this payload is a map, a string, and an interface. Interface is, doesn't matter the object. It's like uh, the, the father of the object. It's interface, but look, it's not only interface, it's interface with how the name of the sign -o. I don't know, in English, please. Braces. Braces. Good. So with braces. And uh, I set name, the name of my user, email, email of my user. And put Jason Marshall with my payload. I, his, I recept an, an, update, an output and an error if happen. If, happen, er, if an error happen, I will return my error. If it doesn't happen, I will return my output. It's a JSON. Nice. And the two concurrent code. It's only a uh, high overview, OK? My concurrent code. We can set my main function 
and I started my first channel. Channel in goal is to communication. It's to share memory to communication between uh, goal routines. Goal routines are like, I guess, mean threads. Green threads, uh, sorry. It's not a real thread, uh, S O uh, operational system threads. It's green threads. So I started the make uh, uh, a channel, other channel result, and channel rod, uh, jobs. And after that, uh, started three new workers. Look, it's a loop. Worker one, two, and three. And uh, I set value for my jobs, and set value, and reset the values of my jobs, and close all the jobs. So, the code of the worker. The worker code is a range of the jobs, and I recept the value from the jobs. And uh, look, then process kind job. Let's, uh, let's see this. Started to run. Don't disappoint me, Golang. What happened, man? It's like, well, I don't know what happened. So, I will show. Wait a minute. I will show for you. Because the presentation ran the, the code. And the uh, thing code. Routines. Look, it's the code, the same code. Okay, it's the same code. <coughs> and when run, all goes not listed. So it doesn't matter. Okay, continues. And the concurrence pattern. It is the real concurrence pattern. Okay, in the real concurrence pattern, we do that. We use the sync to synchronize it, the go over teams. Okay? I imported my login, an API, and a tool to login, and uh, config my environment, is my code, and the other code to connect from Redis. It's a real code, okay? My main function I start my config, I put the log, and after that, I start my Redis pool and run my Go routine. When I run my Go routine, I call this function. Look, I start a weight group here. This code, this variable, will wait all this, the finish of the Go routines. And uh, I added my Go routine and start an anonymous function to process. When the, the, the anonymous function end, the defer command will return, hey, rate group, you can stop it because the group is over. And after that, I call the function process. Look, function process here, and I call the, my process. This will be what? It's a real code to consume from Redis, queries from, uh, queues from Redis. I start this to consume a lot of process and recreate the requests. Okay, the guy sent me a request for Golang application and they take all the requests and made a dump of the request and set the, all the requests on my Redis and the queue, on the call. And why did that? because we need to maintain the older application and we need to reproduce the, re the real request or my fake request for the older application. The old application. And uh, uh, why go? I will show the tests. At first, I have uh, a code here, a Java code. It's a Fibonacci. Look, it's a great code. A Fibonacci code is fantastic. And why? Because I use this all my life. That's a joke. And, 
but it's good only to know what happens, not to return a string. And why I don't know a test with return hello world? Because Java uh, cached the strings. So if I put the same string all the time, I don't test the handler or the process of Java application. I test only the cache of the LLRU cache from Java application. So I put the Fibonacci and I will do the test. The Java application is running and uh, I have here on WRQ pointed for the test. I will have 62 connections but per 10 second, seconds and two threads. Okay, I started the test. And zip. 36,000 requests per second. Okay, it's the number of the Java application. And the Java application is interesting because when you run other time, many times the Java uh, same faster than the other time. And why? Because the JIT. JIT from Java is really performantly and very smart. And was uh, a few better. Look, only a little feel better. So I will stop at this and started uh, Ruby with Sinatra, okay, to give API. Started my Ruby application, and I don't use uh, Unicorn or Rizgi or nothing kind of this. And why? Because if I use uh, Unicorn or Rizgi or kind of things, uh, I do and uh, I put Isteroid on the gill or on my handler. It's not a truth test because I don't do that with, I don't do that, I don't do this with Java, and I don't do this with Go. So I put in only Rubric is okay. And uh, I will do the test again, the same test in the same port, the same number, the same Fibonacci code, and uh, only to know the Fibonacci code of Sinatra is this. It's this code of the Sinatra application. And Sinatra gives for us 300 requests per second. And uh, uh, you can look. Is it 300? There. Requests per second. It's bad. No. 70% of the internet uses don't, don't, don't do that. It's, not, it's, it's great for 70% of the internet. If you have 50 million users in your API, it's a problem. Maybe the same problem happened with Twitter. But uh, uh, if you do a uh, common application, it's good. And when you put uh, unicorns and uh, whiskeys and uh, kind of things, you'll be more performantly. And I will see the same. with Python and Flask. Python and Flask Fibonacci. The code of Flask is it. Okay, the Flask code. And when we look the test that I don't, I'm not started, I started at now, 10 seconds. Eighty hundred requests per second. It's better than uh, Sinatra. And it's really good number. Okay. So I will do the same with Tornado. And Tornado is really more performantly than Flask. For 10 seconds. 
Oh, uh, the tornado code there. It is the tornado code, okay. It's, this is the number. One and a half. There. Looks good. It's a great number. And with unicorn and whiskey, will be better. And with tornado applications, uh, I made applications with uh, 23,000 requests per second. Okay? It's the, the max that I, I, I want with, go, with tornado. And after tornado, I will do the same with go. And start the go application. And I will do the same test. Oh, God. Connection refused. Yes. Oh. Oof. The connection by 10 seconds, and the code is it. And the code of Golang, Fibonacci Golang, is it. And it was 38 found requests per second. But I don't use other uh, thing to do go more, uh, faster than and now 39. But we have a problem with MacBooks. And why the problem? Mac has a limit, uh, 4,000 requests per second. So we need to change it to the playlist code, the playlist configuration in your Mac to have more requests per second. Yes, it's true. Yeah. And because this, uh, we need to do the test with uh, Linux. So, Go was performantly, and uh, it's the limit, the limit of the Mac. And uh, go ahead with Go. Because this, we have a new project, GLive. There is Gleave. Gleave is like Glove, I, I, I think. But in Brazil, it's GLive. Because uh, Global Live, like uh, Global View. That's good. It's the partner of our microservice. At the, in, the in the front, we have an Nginx. And uh, the send the Nginx, the Nginx do the, the, the redirection of the request for our application and, you know, the, and not to older application. When we have a get, the get uh, recept on the cache and read from the cache. And if a post, uh, an update or delete, we process with Golang and uh, write on the cache and the queue. The other microservice, Go microservices, or Python microservices, or any other microservice, read from the queue the information. And uh, uh, we ha I have a lot of Go routines read and writing, and read and reading on the cache all the time, and put on the MongoDB. MongoDB is not our new database. And why? I don't know. No, I know. Uh, when the people ask me, oh, what database do you prefer? I spoke, look, I prefer Cassandra. And uh, oh, I don't have Cassandra, I have Mongo. There are other options. Yes, MySQL. OK, Mongo. <laughs> Was my decision. So. And, uh, but uh, Mongo is difficult to scale. And when you set a lot of values in Mongo, uh, 300 gigabytes, they slow to give the information. In the get process, the get verb is really slow when you have three gigabyte, 300 gigabytes. So the solution was worked with this, with a lot of Go routines consume and write and, and uh, consume inf uh, information all the time. So when the Nginx send a request for us, and we take the Nginx, we get the Nginx, 
and the, the regret and request and the put on the cache. And after writing the cache, we return to, to, to Henry. OK. Or uh, was created to 0, 01, 201. And uh, the stay and in, in, the, in the cache is the sufficient for us because the cache is, pers is with persistence, time and persistence. So it is our uh, stack, our tools, and uh, GLive application. And what we use it for the handler, we use PAT. And why? Because Go is not friendly, it's not so good to know the verbs like get and post and put. We use this mixer only to translate these things, like you do with Flask in a Python application. You said it's a get, it's a get, it's a post. We do that with PAT. Negroni is for our middlewares. This is only for middlewares. Hedigo is our. Uh, and, uh, Redis driver, and uh, MGO, our Mongo driver, and AMQP, our connection with uh, RabbitMQ, and GoDap is to vendorizing the Go code. If you put all, the, the repository of the Go is the Git. So when you do on deploy and you will build your code, the Golang take all the information from the Git, and it's dangerous, because the, he get the information, he take the information from the, the master. Mm -hmm. So it's dangerous. It's the best option, you're vendorizing your dependencies. Okay? Test five, because tests in Go many times are ugly, because you test with if, 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 all the time. And the test file is you put the assert. Assert is equal, assert is OK, and we use this. Go validator is for validation. We validation if uh, email is true, or true email, true names, and uh, true things of fields. And uh, the go tanks is to have a contains. You know, contains and your list, Go doesn't have. <laughs> it's tragic. So uh, I write this library. It's not so good. It's the vendorizing code. Looks like a uh, 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 genlock if you worked with Ruby once. And uh, it's a vendorized code. Look, the revision is the the Git history of the commit, OK? It's the test file code to give tests more beautiful. And uh, look at that. When I made a test with test file, I have, uh, what do I want? I have a beautiful not so beautiful code, but a friendly code to do many things. Look, I created errors, specific errors to return, and uh, return a Redis cache, and it is the real code. So the mock of this is the cache test. I did the mock, look, the mock here and create the mocks, and use them, set up my mocks. And after start the setup code, I will do the assert code. If I don't use uh, test file, I need to put, if is not new, if da da da, if ba ba ba, it's terrible, okay? And uh, we always use the last stable version of the Go. And why you don't stop it in the version? Because it's not good. It's cultural in Golang. You change it for the, the last stable version. You don't use older versions. 
And uh, what's the result after change for Golang? Is it? Now, we can register all the logic of the register user um, at globe.com. We can do with 2,000 uh, requests to 4,000, 24,000 requests per second. Use registrations per second, not requests, registrations per second. And uh, you change it, we change it from two big monoliths, monoliths to a pool of microservices. Nowadays, are, I think, uh, 60 microservices, 50 microservices kind of things. And uh, we use a lot of, a lot, uh, many, 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 many standard library. We, uh, it's not too good, it's not so good in Go. Do you use uh, frameworks? Because, uh, look, Go has a big Go, the copy of Rails. Okay, big Go, the copy of Rails. And uh, it's not good. And why? Because you lost the performance of the language. And it's the same for other uh, frameworks. And the many standard libraries, and it's easy to deploy because the microservices has a unique uh, uh, centered code, and merge is distributed and uh, simpler than you, can, you need to merge with a big monolithic code. So, and what we do with the legacy? We have the legacy code run yet. And why? Because it's an application with 14 years old. You don't want to change this application in six months. It's impossible. You need to maintain the coexistence. So, the request was accepted by the front end. The front end don't change it. It's in Scala. So, uh, Scala said to Nginx, or this service, this, uh, uh, this guy will be reg registered in GLive, or this guy will be registered in the older application. Nginx did the decision, and uh, he can go to the GLive pool of microservice, microservices pool, or he can go to the monolithic application. But you need to maintain the database uh, uh, synchronized. And we did that with more Go applications, the, Go consu the G consumer and the sync. The sync take the information from Oracle and write the information in Mongo. And the consumer take the information from Mongo and write information in Oracle. All the time, all the time, go routines, look and look and look again. Okay? And uh, I want to start, I want to write APIs with Go. What I need to do? I recommend a lot you read Effective Go. Uh, it's an open source book. On the, on the site of Go, on the Golang's official website. And there are two, uh, two Golang to lose the fear of the syntax. And uh, Go by example is a good option too. And why? Because Go by example, you need, oh, I need to um, do a mutex. There are an example. I need to do a pool of workers. There are an example. And the Go by example, it's good, it's by example. And now, questions? <laughs> so, thank right. you, my content. If you want to speak with me, you have one question. Oh, one question there. Hi. Hi. Uh, the downside of uh, using Java is uh, Java consumes a lot of memory, so your servers have to, uh, is, uh, is more expensive, and what about uh, Go? Yes, uh, uh, the, consume of the, the Go application don't have a big consumer of memory, consume the process. And uh, uh, if you have a lot of Go routines, you need more process than memory. Look, uh, I, don't, I don't speak about this, but look this, our stack. At now we change it 
from the, the PAT to the fast HTTP. Fast HTTP is a new option and uh, a new thing of the world, more faster thing of the world to handlers. And uh, they create, this guy create only two objects in the memory. It's, you can use a sync pool and uh, buffer and all your objects. It's an option too. So go, don't consume a lot of memory. You consume uh, more processors, more cores than memory because the routines run in your OS threads and uh, it happens. Okay? More questions? There are any yeah. other questions? Okay. Thank you a lot. My contact. And uh, see you later.